would I would also That's argue true. I would That's also true. argue that it would be hard for a woman to stay faithful if every day she was approached by high value men. That's true. So That's by bad. yeah, like you've been in that position. It's yeah. it's if every day you're getting messages from like the top men in society. I, I think that's hard for women to turn down. We're hypergamous. Mm-hmm. So it's not really about the quantity of men that approach you. It's the quality. Mm-hmm. Here's what I want to talk to you about today. The science of love, hypergamy, and cuckoldry. We'll explain that. What's going on, Love Factual family? Welcome back to another intriguing episode where we dive into the mysteries of love, relationships, and human behavior. Today, we're exploring two fascinating concepts, hypergamy and cuckoldry. These terms might not be a part of your everyday vocabulary, but they play a significant role in understanding human relationships. So, let's get started. All right, number one, here is hypergamy. As we discussed today, it's a concept that originates from the red pill community, which explores unconventional views on relationships. It refers to a woman's natural inclination to seek partners of higher social status, but it's not just about marrying up financially. It involves a range of behavioral traits that reveal women's tendencies to better their lives through their choice of sexual partners. What's interesting is that hypergamy can also manifest itself in surprising ways, like in the realm of cockledry. Now, cockledry refers to a situation where women seek sexual satisfaction outside of their marriages, often with partners who are more physically appealing and thus create situations many times where men are asked to father children that are not theirs biologically, most times without even knowing. Shockingly, statistics reveal that approximately 30% of men who suspect infidelity in their relationships are proven right through paternity tests. And this shows that cockledry is more common than we might think and has significant emotional and psychological consequences for those involved. The unfortunate thing is that most men never find out that their wives are or were cheating. And I've seen this too many times in the past. Someone looking like somebody else that's not their father, but it makes you think and it makes you wonder what's going on. And on top of it too, you know that the two parties involved have a friendship and the child is looking like the man, you know what I'm saying? Basically, we call it giving a man a jacket. He's wearing a jacket that ain't his meaning he's got a child, that ain't his. But somehow, some of these men have no clue whatsoever. They don't even see what everybody else sees. Now, when we think about cockledry, it's very easy to demonize women. And negative stereotypes do come to mind, like I said before. You know, we can think of many phrases that people use to describe when a man gets a child that's not his. We call it a cat in a bag. And like I said before, we call it getting a jacket or some other familiar term, you know, which just simply means giving a child that's not yours. However, this practice has been going on for a very, very long time. Now, the impact of cockledry extends beyond just financial consequences. It can shatter trust, destroy families, and leave lasting emotional scars on everyone involved. I know about that. It's a topic that requires careful consideration and open discussion. Unfortunately, not too many people want to talk about that situation because a lot of families got a lot of family secrets along these lines because your daddy ain't your daddy, but your daddy don't know. You see what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. So my question is, why do women feel the need to sleep with different men 
at the same time. And then sometimes it turned out, it turned out that they don't even know who the father is. You see it on paternity court all the time. This is a crying shame. And a lot of times there's money involved. They're getting money from both men, so they're sleeping with both men. Now, one area where hypergamy might not play a significant role is salary negotiation. And this is because women often don't negotiate salaries as effectively as men, possibly because their priorities lie elsewhere. You see what I'm saying? Instead of direct resource acquisition, women often rely on social paradigms, political support, divorce settlements, and even, like I said before, cockledry to secure resources indirectly, like getting money from different men in support of the same one child. So, now this is essentially paternity fraud. However, to date, no woman has ever gone to jail over this practice. All right, so here we go. Very short video today. So what do we do with this information? We've delved into the world of hypergamy and cockledry, understanding their roles in relationships. It's important to remember that knowledge is power and being aware of these dynamics can help us navigate our romantic lives more effectively. Like gentlemen, keep your eyes wide open for anything that just doesn't seem right. I will say this way, if it walks like a duck, looks like a duck, quacks like a duck, it is a duck. Don't forget that. But I want to emphasize that these concepts do breed negativity and many times drive us into isolation because of the unfair tactics that some women will use to get what they want. Love and relationships are complex as it is and everyone deserves happiness and fulfillment. There's enough pointing of the finger and assigning blame on both sides. Well, let's use this knowledge to build healthier, more fulfilling relationships. Look, it begins with the next generation getting back to traditional values because as for this generation, let me say this, I believe that it has gone too far down the rabbit hole with no signs of having the ability to come back to their senses. I believe that it will take no less than 50 years to rebuild what has been broken, which includes putting the feminists back in their place and restoring the moral code and values of this society. Let's wrap things up, folks. Let me say this. That's a wrap for today's Love Factual episode. Thank you for joining us right here on this journey into the intricacies of love, hypergamy, and cockledry. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating insights into the world of relationships. So, until next time, remember, love is a beautiful mystery, and we're here to unravel it together. Take care, and we'll see you in the next episode of Love Factual. I am William Nelson Ryan, and may God bless you.